everybody and welcome to our family channel Smith Party of Six. I'm Adriana and this is going to be our daily vlog. We just finished up with homeschool today. Yeah. And I did. Yeah, and she did. And um, we're going to get ready to go to the library. Usually Wednesdays are our library days, but um, the big kids had school off yesterday. And it's kind of hard. Like, I know this is a little bit ridiculous, but it's kind of hard to go. When Lexi comes back from school, can I have her? Yes, when Lexi comes back from school, you can have her. But, like, when all four kids are here, I'm not going to lie, it's really tough to, like, be able to go to the library just because, like, everything needs to be a little more orderly. Like, everybody's going to be kind of chill. So I don't like to take trips with all four of them together at the library if I'm on my own. Now, if Chris is with me, then sure, we can all go, and it's, it's fine. There's two of us, divide and conquer. But with all four, it's just kind of rough. So I didn't go yesterday. Um, so we're gonna head out today. I got a sandalist. Oh, honey, let's not put your hand on my shirt. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Good job, Arwen. I do another song. You wanna do another song for them? What do you wanna sing? Um, summer fall. Okay, sing it really quick. Ready? Summer, fall, winter, summer, fall, winter, spring. Summer, fall, winter, and spring. These are the seasons that God brings. Good job! I do another song. Okay, that's all for right now. Let's get ready to go to the library. We're going to peace out. We're going to peace out. Okay, so before we even go, I'm gonna go ahead and put my Moby wrap on me just because it makes it so much easier to not have to do it like in the parking lot. It kind of takes a minute and like with the van door being open and everything just being cold, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on me now. Um, that's what I do when we're at the library just so that I can still have my hands for getting books and for helping her out while I just have him strapped to me. It makes it all so much easier. All right, so I'm doing just the basic Moby wrap that comes, like it's the very first one in the instructions um, that come with the Moby wrap. Um, but it's really nice because you can use it for newborns or even Aspen's age. Um, it works for pretty much any kiddo and it's a nice and snug way to wrap them up. And with the Moby, basically it's just a series of wraps and then a tie at the end. Um, here I am just kind of tightening it up, making sure everything will fit him well, then crisscrossing to make the loops that he will sit in and tying it behind my back, and that's all done. Okay, so he is a baby that does not like to have his feet like inside of the wrap like he never has. It just always has driven him nuts. So um, anyways, so since he doesn't like to have his feet in, even when I do it like this, I can still poke his feet out the bottom and I'll show you like once we get to the library and I actually have him on me, you'll be able to see it makes it super easy. And I'll leave a link for the Mobies down in the description box too. This isn't like sponsored by them or anything, um, but it's just a product that I really like to use. I feel like there was something else I wanted to say. And then once I have this on me, I will just go ahead and put my sweater over top of this. And then like even when we're outside and like walking into the library, I can like kind of wrap my sweater around him to keep some of the cool air off of him. Normally, if um, we're gonna be going anywhere, then I take this diaper bag with us. Oh goodness, he hates being in his car seat. He is waiting. But instead, like when we're going to the library, I'd rather just go ahead and just take my wallet and not have something big and bulky to carry. We won't be there forever. So um, we probably won't actually need like any of the extra diapers or anything like that. I know it's a little bit of a risk like not having it with me at all times. Um, a lot of times I'll still just like have it in the van just in case I need to run out and get it for something. But with the library trip, I really like to just get in, get a few things that we like and get back out. <laughs> are here at the library quick mom hack or not really a mom hack just a tip if you will um 
get your library card out and have it in a place in your wallet that you know exactly where it is so that when it comes time to actually check out you're not like fumbling through your wallet the first time that i came to the library with them it was like a complete disaster <laughs> aspen had started to cry arwen wasn't feeling it i was trying so hard to just get out of there and i was thumbing through my wallet trying to find the card and it was just it was just a hot mess. All right, we're gonna head in. I hope that we can find some books that like point to Jesus too and aren't just like Santa Christmassy, but we'll see. This? Yeah! Is a Christmas tree? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Hey, you wanna go through the little door? Yeah, the little door. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, so I told you guys that I would show you um, what it looked like once he was strapped in and then I completely forgot. So this is at the end of our trip. We're getting ready to get back in the car now, but he is all strapped in there and his legs also poke out the bottom. And if you wanna see like a more detailed video of exactly how to do it, I can go back and show you guys too. All right, we were able to get like five books. Um, like I said, we went through it pretty quick, um, just cause that's how I like to do it. And luckily like during each of the different like times of year, they'll have those specific books sitting out. So it makes it a lot easier for us to just go in and find what we're looking for. Cause we were looking for Christmas themed books and then go ahead and head out. So, um, I will show you our haul once we get home. library hall. Um, like I said, I wanted at least some books that were going to point back to Jesus because that is the reason for the season. Um, but at the same time, you know, there were other cute books and stuff like that Arwen wanted to pick up. And I want to encourage reading as much as I can and don't want um, reading about Jesus to be something that she doesn't want to do or to become something that's forced. We always want to make it fun for all the kiddos so we didn't just do books having to do with Jesus um, the first one is one that she picked up because she has other books with this little baby on it here and this is um, a counting Christmas book we'll be able to go through and um, count and learn as we are also reading about Christmas. The next one is also a board book called The Christmas Star and this one is um, having to do with the birth of baby Jesus. So I'm excited about that one. Next, this one looks fun. Um, Millie in the Snow and it's about this cute little cow so I'm excited um, to read this one with all the kiddos and it's something that the big kids will enjoy too. It's not a board book. Um, and the illustrations are fun. It's kind of got a lot going on, so we'll be able to um, look at the pictures a lot. It's something that they'll enjoy more than just one time. Next is The Drummer Boy. Um, it's got, it's kind of like some, some more like rich, like darker type of illustration in it. Um, but it's all about this little um, drummer boy that is lost from home. And then at the end he's found again and also it has this nice little picture with the nativity um, at the end there and we'll be able to talk more about that with them and I also got them this fun little um, like nativity set to paint that we're gonna be doing while we're reading these books and I'll show it to you here um, in just a minute the last book is one that's by Max Licato and I like some of his other children's books, so I thought that this one would be a good one to get. Um, full disclosure, I hadn't actually looked through it yet. I just saw that it was a Max Licato one and figured that um, it would be something that I approved of. So I just went ahead and picked it up. It's called Alabaster's Song, Christmas Through the Eyes of an Angel. So I am interested um, to get into this one and see what it's all about. See some of the... I'll just go ahead and show you some of the illustrations and stuff here. So yeah, I'm excited to read that one for the kids too. All right, let me grab their nativity set and I'll show that to you. 
All right, so somebody also needed to be fed, so I went ahead and threw him on really quick. But this is the nativity set um, that I got for the kids. I actually picked it up um, on a trip to Sam's. It's from a company called Works of All. I will try to find the link for it on Amazon and put it down in the description box for you guys. But um, the kids are going to be painting this, their own little nativity set that we can set up in the house um, while we're reading um, the Christmas books. That way it's not them just like sitting there listening to books, even though they love to do that. But at the same time, then it also gives them something else to be focusing on while we're um, going through them. And like I said, a, a, with several of those books, they're ones that they'll want to read like over and over and over again anyways. Um, so I know that they're not gonna end up like missing parts or anything like that. All right, so my tips for going into the library with young kids. Okay, first of all, like I said, I try, yeah, number one and a pinky. I try not to go um, on my own if I have all four of them, that might, sound like not nice or something I don't know but I just take two at a time when I can um just because it does get just a little bit rowdy I mean they're all pretty young and it's not even that they try to act up it's just like everybody trying to show me mommy look at this book mommy look at this mommy look at this mommy look at this mommy I want to go over here but mommy I want to go look at this like I'm just one person and it can be hard to be at a library where there needs to be some order with four kiddos so like I said if I'm gonna have all four then I try to wait for a time when my husband can go with us and it can just be a family trip um, otherwise I just will take two at a time and I know that not everybody can do that obviously um, but just when you can it does make it easier all right tip Hello. number two make sure everybody's in good spirits um, because like if I try to take her when it gets closer to nap time or something or when he's tired and fussy it just makes everything so so much harder like I said the first time that I went with both of them it was at a time oh my goodness it was at a time when they were both kind of cranky and it was just not an enjoyable enjoyable experience whatsoever so always try to go just like any mom outing you guys know to go when they are not gonna be getting tired tip number three if you've got a little one or even her age and you don't have another smaller one wrap them I mean she likes to be out and about and walking and um, she's really well behaved for the most part so um, I don't have to worry about it too much but if you've got a little one that's just kind of like all over the place and it makes it easier and it's fun for them to be strapped to mama then just go ahead and do it like it just makes it so much more simple like I said, especially with his age, since he's not mobile on his own, he can't walk around. It's like, I don't want to have to either be lugging the car seat every few steps as I'm walking with him or just holding him in my arms the whole time while I'm also trying to walk with her and carry the books and whatever else. All right. You saw, I do not bring in our diaper bag. It's just an extra thing that's just like on me, weighing me down. I don't like it. So I don't do it. I just have um, my wallet that attaches to my wrist and carry it around with me and that's all I need. And honestly, like on this trip, I didn't even need it. I totally forgot that on my key ring, I have an extra set of library cards. So our library has ones that can be on your key ring too. And so it just makes it easier. So I didn't even actually need my wallet at all. I just needed my keys. So I think that I'll just start doing that where I don't even like, take my wallet in, just have it like hidden somewhere in the car. I don't know, that's probably not a good idea. I probably will still have to take it in with me regardless. Or maybe just throw my driver's license into a pocket and leave my wallet at home. I don't know. Either way, you can find ways to just minimize what you're having to carry so that you don't feel like bogged down and uncomfortable the whole time. If I feel like bogged down the entire time that we're out, like it just makes it so unenjoyable for me. Like I said, I like to do quick trips anyways, but at the same time, like I don't want to just be completely rushing to the point where like she doesn't even get to look at the things that she wants. So um, yeah, make sure that you are comfortable and not feeling bogged down, which brings me to my next tip, which is to 
always try to make it as quick as you can like plan ahead for the trip kind of go over the whole thing in your mind knowing exactly what you'll need through every step just so you don't have to feel like it takes you forever to get from point A to point B like I did with like wrapping beforehand so that it didn't take up extra time in the parking lot just planning little steps along your way to make it a little bit easier next tip like i said before in the car i got out my um library card then and put it in an easier space but then i realized like i said that they were actually on my key ring so either get out your library card beforehand or just have your keys that have it on there and that makes it so much easier okay and this is a tip that we don't actually need for the library but um other places that we go sometimes we do have snacks on hand just in case so like I do this with church we bring like goldfish or gummies or like something um, kind of small that they can snack on if they need to to kind of like keep the peace I definitely want to make sure especially with Arwen that she's not hangry when we're getting ready to go anywhere folks like home girl gets hangry we had eaten not long before we left the house and then once we get home it's actually time for her snack so um I know that like she's good while we're there um, but if your little one is gonna be needing a snack while you're gone or if you think that that would be something that would help calm them or help avoid a tantrum then go for it mama even if you just need to give it to them and let them eat for a minute before you go in have a little snack before you go into the library while you sit in the car or whatever it is to help the trip go more smoothly all right and finally this last one just relax and have fun because our kids can definitely tell like when we're uptight. I know that if I am like a feeling anxious, automatically she's gonna start feeding off of that and he's gonna start feeding off of that. The older ones, not so much necessarily. It just won't be as fun for them if I'm uptight the whole time. But make it an enjoyable thing to where like they want to go back to the library and it's not something where like oh mom acts mad the whole time arwen don't do that nope don't do that where it's not something where mom acts mad the whole entire time so now i don't even like to go but just keep that in mind and i think that we put so much pressure on ourselves sometimes just to make things like perfect and make sure that our kids act perfect the whole time but honestly like my kids are fairly well behaved but they definitely have their moments and i think that that can be true of anyone so like most people that are out kind of will give you that nod like if your kid is kind of like acting up to let you know hey i get it you're not alone type of thing most people are fairly understanding and the ones who aren't oh well i guess they were either perfect or they've never had children um so things are gonna happen but if we're uptight and worried about them the whole time that actually makes them more likely to happen so just relax have fun take them you know don't i i never want to look back and like worry like did i do um did i do enough like it's not like I'm ever going to look back and be like, man, I really wish I wouldn't have taken the kids to the library so often. If anything, it's going to be me looking back going, I wish I would have done more and not I wish I would have done less. So I never want the difficulties to make it to where I just don't do anything at all because that's kind of like how my personality is. A lot of times I just, if it's going to be um, too hard to do something with them, then I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't even want to do this. Like I already know ahead of time this is going to be rough it makes me just want to stay home and avoid it all but that's not the type of life that i want for them that's not the childhood that i want them to remember i want them to have fun stop it you goofy boy i want them to have fun and to have memories of going to the library or the zoo or even just the store with mama whatever and just to not let um all the little things that we worry about hinder that interrupting to give you a bonus tip because I almost forgot <laughs> exit strategy like that is can be the hardest thing sometimes is getting them to leave after you've had all the fun with them and today that was actually something that um, I had to talk to Arwen about because um, she was okay with walking out of the library but then once we got in the parking lot she wanted to play on like the little thing that's like in front of the car I don't know what those are called 
like it looks like a speed bump I don't know anyways she was wanting to like stand on that and like act like it was a little balance beam or whatever and she was like not ready to go at all and I have been blessed with kids for whatever reason that even at a young age I'm able to talk to them and just to tell them what's up <laughs> so I was like all right Arwen listen if you're not gonna listen to mommy when I say that it's time to leave, then we're not gonna be able to come back soon. And I don't say, you know, come back ever. I don't put that on them, that's a bit too much. But, you know, we're not gonna be able to come back soon. And so I asked her, you know, do you wanna be able to come back soon? And she said, yeah. And I was like, all right, then you're gonna have to listen to mama. And so she sat down in her car seat and was able to get buckled up and it wasn't a big like power struggle or anything like that, which she can be a little strong willed. I'm not going to lie. She can be, but she's not to the point where I can't reason with her. Thankfully, you are all in my hair. Oh my goodness. He's eating it. Woo! So I, I've really been blessed in that area. I mean, I know that it's not always going to be like that. You know, everybody has their days. She may have her hard days too, where, you know, it requires a little bit of something else. So if you know that your kiddo has a really hard time leaving and that just reasoning isn't going to help pull them out of that play mode, here's what you can do. Make leaving a fun too. So, you know, have, like I mentioned about bringing snacks, have a snack ready in the car that's just for after you're done with the library. And then when they're not wanting to leave, say, oh, but you get to have a picnic in the car with mama. And make it something exciting, like they get to sit up in the front seat with you or something while you guys eat, you know, not leaving the library parking lot yet, just sitting there in the parking lot. Dude, my hair! Just sitting there in the parking lot, you be an ornery! Um, just sitting in the parking lot eating the snack and like ha calling it a picnic, you know? It's something fun and enjoyable. Um, or, you know, going through a drive through and getting a drink or a smoothie or something fun like that. Just something that makes them enjoy the leaving or look forward to the leaving. Um, or like having their favorite toy in the car, but explaining to them beforehand, you know, this toy can't go into the library, but you can have it when we get back out to the car. And then so it being exciting, like, oh, but your baby's in the car waiting for you. We better go get her so she's not sad or, you know, whatever the case is and just make it something that's fun for them to get back into the car. All right, back to the video. And that's it. Those are all my tips for you guys. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs> don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and we will see you next time. You want to say bye, Arwen? Bye. Bye. Bye.